Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's your friendly neighborhood of Farmer Raznak and today I'm going to show you how to find all 20 of the new collectibles on the new map Silver Run Forest for the Platinum Expansion. Let's do it. Let's fill this place up. For my video, we're going to start right in the middle of town. We're going to start dead center in town right here at the Great Woods Gallery that you'll come back to after you find each one of the collectibles to see it in all of its glory. I've got the little map pulled up right here and I already have all the little spots on the map to help us find our collectibles. If you want to do that, you can do it on PC. Sorry, console folks, you can't do it. But if you're on PC, you can put in GS Collectibles Show All and it's it. There's a video. There's a link right up top, right there. You can click on that right now and it'll show you how to get all these little dots pulled up. But if not, you can just follow along with me and I'll show you how to find all of them. The first one from the center of town is gonna be really, really easy to find. I'm gonna do a lot of fast traveling. We're gonna save some walking and we're not gonna make things too complicated. So first one is we're gonna jump to the fire department. We're just going to fast travel right here to, to the fire department. We'll pull up our little mini map. Once you're here at the fire department, you need to find the ladder, which is around back of the fire department. You're going to find a ladder right here. Just going to go boop, boop, boop up the ladder right here on top of the fire station. You're going to find our first collectible, the Crowing Rooster, right here. We're going to go ahead and grab that one. This is at 1832-1711. 1832 The local museum is planning an exhibit of carved wood sculptures. Due to a profound misunderstanding, these sculptures have been scattered all across the entire region. I blame FedEx. Let's blame FedEx for that. You can help by gathering all 20 of them. You found the rooster sculpture, just 19 more to go. All right, and on to the next one. Next one's gonna be pretty easy. We're just gonna fast travel right up here to the hotel. I'm gonna jump right, just fast travel to the hotel. Absolutely no problem. What you're gonna do is on the back side of the hotel, so we're gonna go around it like so. Like so, I make it easier. And it's on this back porch of the house behind the hotel. There is the rabbit. The rabbit can be found at 1847, 1543. That's 1847, 1543. Again, fast travel to the hotel. Behind the hotel, you'll find this little house, this little gray house on the back porch. There's our rabbit. All right, let's keep going. Our next one's gonna be easy to find. You're going to fast travel to the Rent-A-Train. Boop, just like so. And right in front of you, when you land, you're gonna see this gray house, that white car. And right here in the front yard of the gray house, somebody lost his little hedgehog. It's a little hedgehog. I think, I mean, it looks like a hedgehog or a mole, something, some small little, I say it's a little hedgehog. Somebody lost Sonic. We gotta get Sonic. The hedgehog can be found at 1600, 1610, 1600, 1610, right there. The hedgehog, it is the hedgehog. That's what it said, hedgehog. It has been found. Let's go. Our next collectible isn't far from the last one. You're just gonna walk just north of town. And you're gonna find a little playground right here. There's like a playground just north of town. And off to the playground, off to the left of the playground, you know, you got your swing sets and all this kind of stuff, your little gazebo, a little picnic tent. Over here, hi, we'll be quiet. Must be quiet. No, there is a collectible right here. This is at 1740, 1442. 1740, 1442, that is where you will find the deer. All right. The next collectible can be found actually at the very beginning when you first load in the game. When you first load in, you start right up here overlooking uh, your starting farm. And once you're here, I'll show you on the map right here, uh, your farmhouse. This is your starting yard if you start in new player mode. But if not, uh, it's right here on the map. But what you could do is this: there's this little waterfall, this little overlook. And behind this is this little pond with a rock, uh, rock outcropping. And you can look over there and see, see this little fella 
hide in waiting for us and we'll just jump through the water and we'll wade and we'll get some weird graphical glitches on the way to Mr. Owl, the old wise owl. You can find him at 1444 1355. Again, not far from the starting point on your starting farm. 1444 1355 is the owl. Ooh. Our next collectible does not really have a fast travel point, uh, but you can easily find it on the map. If you look here in the field two, you got field one and two. There's not a whole lot of fields on this map. Uh, it's primarily a logging map that, I mean, you could, you could eventually turn into fields and stuff just through some hard work, but primarily it's a logging map, kind of focuses on that. Uh, but field two, one of the few fields on the map, you'll find a lighthouse just kind of sitting right here next to this lighthouse just sunning just resting and relaxing is our first little doggy he's a doggy i like i actually like this i love these wooden sculptures i wish giants would sell them i'd buy one why not let's who i could collect all the collectible giant sculptures i know it's weird okay at 7 10 1873 you will find the dog Boop. that is the dog sculpture Again, right here uh, by field two, next to the lighthouse. The next two are kind of in close proximity to one another, uh, so shouldn't have too much trouble finding those. The easiest way to get to the next two, I would suggest uh, you drive up here, fly up here, however you want to get up here. Just north of field three, you'll find a, like a dirt road that goes back in three ponds. And there's a couple collectibles here. There's one here and one here. The first one, right by the fi fire tower there's a little wooden shed at these and here you will find another dog or dog number two you can find him at 366 1350 366 1350 that is dog sculpture number two and why we're here what we'll do is the easiest way to get to the next one is you're just going to follow this little dirt road down and I'm gonna go fast. Once you get to the creek that kind of passes over it, you got this little pond here. You got this beautiful running water, which is spectacular, wonderful addition by giants. Just could just sit here peacefully. Enjoy the sights. Right, we're not here for that. Okay, let's go down the creek. Woohoo! It's like a water slide. I feel I feel like a little child inside. Um we're gonna follow this creek down to the next pond. And on the edge of the next pond, you're going to find another collectible. Right here, this little collectible, this little birdie collectible. This is at 274, 15, 24. It is the King Fisher sculpture. He was just kind of sitting here waiting for a fish to pop up so he could dart him with that beak. But that is the King Fisher, 274, 15, 24. There are so many bridges and creeks and terrain changes and just little paths on this map. It, there's tons and tons of stuff and there's tons of places to hide things. And Giants has done a pretty good job, I think, of making this both fun and accessible, finding all the collectibles. Our next one can be found right under this bridge. We were right over here in the last one. You had the little fire tower in the pond. Here's field two. Uh, here is the paper factory for reference. Here's a rural farm. Kind of right in the middle of those, you're going to find this bridge, this narrow bridge over this big, huge chasm, kind of, you know, this con this river flowing through here. And down, we're going to go down. We're not going to go across the bridge. We're just going to go down. And kind of over here, just hanging out, waiting to look, just sitting here on the side of under the bridge. He's living under the bridge down by the river. Okay, sorry, I had to do that. You will find our next one at 551 at 1239. That is the Marmot. The Marmot sculpture is at 551 1239 underneath of this bridge. Our next two collectibles are going to be quite easy to find because of the joys of fast travel. What we're going to do is you're going to fast travel to the mineshaft, which is another amazing addition. 
by giants to the farming simulator franchise. This thing spits out iron ore. And you can come scoop this up and you can take it and refine it to add it to the production. I mean, that's, that's I mean, a really, really cool addition and just a diff de neat, different way of playing the game. But back to what we're here for, the collectibles. So we come down here to Iron Peaks Mining Company and there are two collectibles here near Iron Peaks. And the easiest way to find them what we're going to do first is we're going to climb up to this water tower up here on top of the hill overlooking the mine. And sitting right here on the edge just waiting for the moon to appear in a permanent state of howling. At 105.792 you will find the wolf sculpture. That's 105. 792 now from up here we're just gonna find the next one it's pretty simple it's not too hard to do we're actually just gonna you know we're just gonna yolo off the end of these cliffs here all the way down to the bottom of this mountain way down here because you're gonna find something really freaking cool an old abandoned mine an old abandoned mine i'll show it to you on the map here is your mining sha mine shaft just south of it you can follow this road down here if you don't want to jump down the mountain is the abandoned mine shaft and you can actually get in there there's a little spot open here on the side where we can kind of walk in right there now you can't get down here i've, I've yet to find a way to get down there and uh try to open in this uh so if you know a secret to get in there just let me know i've, I've tried but back here in the abandoned mine shaft kind of hiding lurking waiting for prey so he can pounce in the dark is our bear statue which is just absolutely stunning such a beautiful beautiful statue and very very well done this is at 157 814 you can find the bear statue in the abandoned mine all right let's go our next one can be found north of the mine. Right here is the mine area, mine shaft debris crusher. There's the old gas station there. But if you go north of that, uh, a lot, you'll find this kind of this dirt road with this little wooden bridge and another one of these just picturesque, beautiful little creeks and waterfalls. And wouldn't you know, sitting right underneath of this waterfall is Mr. Turtle. He's, I like Mr. Turtle. He's he's probably my favorite one. He's just so cute. He's just hanging out there. Okay, this is 277-393. You will find Mr. Turtle, Turtle. Again, not far from the mine. Just right up here in the in the corner of the map. Just whoop, eight to go. Our next one is found at the very far north of the map. This is probably the farthest that you'll get north to find collectibles. Up here at the very top of the map, there's gonna be this nice little pond. Let's get rid of that. This beautiful pond just kind of hanging out right here, this little outcrop. I mean, I don't know about you, but like I wanna grab a scuba tank and dive in and see what kind of treasures we can find. But you don't have to because you can find treasures without diving. You can wait out here in the water and just sitting on his lily pad is Mr. Frog. 499-101, you can find Mr. Frog just hanging out. Grab him, seven more to go. And again, that's all the way up here at the top of the map in this like circular pond right here at the very, very north of the map. Yeah, let's go. Our next few could be kind of easily accessible from a fast travel point. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fast travel to this gas station. Here's your mine, here's your gas station. Again, up here in the kind of the northwest corner of the map, you're just gonna jump to the gas station. And from there, you're gonna travel kind of east. You'll find this, this lodge kind of building here. You're gonna go past it. And then in the back of that, across the road, you're gonna see this sign right here. This. Antonio Carraro, try our new machine sign. And behind there, hiding in this bush, just secretly waiting. Just waiting to pounce upon these dri I mean, these poor drivers. They're about to get they're about to get bored by a boar. You will find at 661 512 our next collectible, Mr. Boar. He is hiding right there. Again, you can fast travel to the gas station, kind of come over here. 
pretty quick. The next one is just, we're just going to walk to it. It's nothing special. We're going to go straight south here. Well, kind of not straight south, but southeast through the woods. We're just going to make our way over to this, this kind of, there's like a rocky outcropping. Just kind of has, again, another one of these amazing views with this little pond and this little creek running down the hill. I'll pull it up on the map so you can see where we're at. Again, here's the gas station. Our uh, last collectible was right here. We're just going to go southeast from that last collectible on these rock outcropping. Just, I mean, again, just these little beautiful, little peaceful places we can hang out. We will find our next collectible at 766. 689 is the Eagle Sculpture. 766, 689. Only five to go. Our next hiding animal can be found at the paper mill. You can just fast travel right to the paper mill. Boop. Just like so. You'll land right here in the middle of the paper mill. And then you're going to have to do a little bit of parkour just to get up there. You got to do like parkour up here. And then you want to kind of climb up this, this little ramp thing here. And then you're going to want to like parkour over here. And then just a little squirrel. Our little squirrel buddy's hanging out here on top of the paper mill at an 898-1094. is Mr. Squirrel. Now from there... There's really no fast travel points, so we're just going to walk to them. So say you're at the paper mill, right? Right here is the paper mill. We're just going to head north along this road. We're just going to follow these roads. As fast as we can up here. And then right, just like I said, you're just going to go north from the paper mill up to the main road. And right across the road in this little this little meadow area is this poor little lost sheep. You just, just waiting. Just, you know, lost all by himself. 10, 16, 870. 10, 16, 870. You will find the lost sheep. And we have just a three to go. So we're on our last three. And if you've enjoyed the video so far and you're like, hey, Raz, you've done pretty good. You helped me out. You can give, give it a thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed, you can hit that subscribe button. Just, just saying, if you haven't commented, you can say hi. I like to read them. So, you know, like, subscribe, comment. All right, enough of that spiel. We are at the old sawmill. The last three are kind of right here around this old sawmill. You got one, two, three. And so if you fast travel to the old sawmill, you can get these in any order, however you want. But this is how we're going to do it. Uh, first ones, we're going to walk down by the log pond here. And we're just going to kind of... Cut across, head west, away from the sawmill. Get your hiking boots on because terrain is rough. You might get attacked by a grizzly bear if you're not careful. I'm just teasing. And again, you're going to find one of these like rock outcroppings. These just kind of, these little rock places that just kind of sit all over the map. Just kind of everywhere. And look at him sitting up there on the very top of the rock outcropping is this little fish. So you'll go around back, climb up the rock, and there's just a little fox, just just scouting, waiting for some tiny little animal like the hedgehog or marmot to make a mistake so he can take him down. There is our fox. Fox can be found at 1145 584. We got him and there's just two to go. So from Mr. Fox, we're just gonna run north from Mr. Fox, again, all around the sawmill. And over here by the log piles of the sawmill, you got all these log piles. Here's the old sawmill. You're going to find the woodpecker. I've been waiting the whole time to say that. Yes, I have. All right, Mr. Woodpecker is, I don't know why that makes me laugh because I'm a giant child. 1173, 395 is the woodpecker. Boop. We grabbed him, and now we have just one collectible to go. So we can run through the sawmill, kind of like dash through all these planks and all this stuff. And we're just going to head this way. From the sawmill, oh, I'd probably help if I have a map. You're just going to kind of go south and west, follow this road to the bridge. So here's our sawmill. Right down from the sawmill, we're going to find this bridge. 
that looks over this nice little beautiful beautiful river again another one of these majestic creeks flowing down into the river and wouldn't you know just just hanging out such a like i mean perfect fishing spot right just kind of set up right here do some fishing drink a few beers we're gonna wade out into the river and we're gonna find our last collectible mr fish mr fish he got caught he he was jumping and he got stuck here on land 1650 615 you will find the last of the sculpture 1650 615 i'll show it to you on the map again here is the old sawmill here is our collectible now let's jump back to the gallery and look at all of our collections and all of their glory the gallery itself does not have a fast point so if you're trying to find the gallery the easiest way to do is just it's this building right here but you can just fast travel to um to the fire department you fast travel to the fire department and you just run it's they're right next door to the old silver run fire and rescue silver run fire and rescue right there great woods gallery and inside the gallery you will find all of our beautiful collectibles we have mr fox we have the eagle the sheep mr fish we got the rooster the frog the marmot the boar Got the wolf and the bear, squirrel, dog one, rabbit, oh, Mr. Turtle. Isn't he the best? I think Mr. Turtle is the best. Although, I don't know, Mr. Hedgehog's kind of cute. The woodpecker. We have our little deer or fawn. Looks more like a fawn than a deer. We got our kingfisher, wise Mr. Owl, and then the other dog. Just all hanging out right here. So not only do you get... You know, to explore the map, the great thing about the collectibles is you get some map exploration. You get to see some really nice, beautiful parts of the map. You get to fill up this really cool Great Woods Gallery thing. I mean, you could do this. You could use this for role playing. You could do all kinds of different kinds of stuff. Uh, you know, just just make it fun. And uh, I really, really like how they did the collectibles on this one. Uh, top notch job by Giants on the collectibles. Uh, the toy store was pretty cool. The the video game cartridges on the French one are pretty cool. The stinky cheese, well, it was, was kind of stinky. I mean, it was, it was okay. I mean, it, but this one, hands down, is my favorite collectibles uh, of any game. Of, on an any map is the, the Silver Run. Really, really cool. And you know what else is great about it? Now you got a million dollars. You get one million dollars, $50,000 per collectible. Find all 20 of them. You get an extra million to start with to get your adventure on the old halt or on the old uh, silver run forest look at that great woods gallery is full it's a beautiful beautiful map you can build a roller coaster you can launch a boat you can do farming you can cut a lot of trees uh really really cool map let me know in the comments are you excited for silver run forest are you looking forward to different way of playing very focused on production, I feel like, and moving stuff around. A lot of a lot of really cool stuff in in this map. A lot of very new models. You know, it looks very old and western. Even the train is different. We have a new train. You can load containers on the train. Uh, just it's just really really cool. Really really excited to get into this. I'm going to be streaming on this map uh, a couple times a week. Uh, so yeah, if, if if you haven't seen one of my streams yet, stop by. We're gonna try to do them Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 p.m. I'll be streaming here on Silver Run Forest. All right, that's it. I'm gonna quit blabbering. I hope I helped all of you find all your collectibles and made you millions of dollars. And for that, like I said, you know, give that thumbs up button. Drop me a comment. Share it with your friends. Be like, hey. I know a guy. I know a guy that can help you find all your stuff. I know a guy, and he knows a guy. And he, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I need more coffee. <laughs> Until next time, stay safe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye bye.